Hi, YouTube. It's Angela. We're going to do, um, today we're going to do a chakra realignment, chakra cleansing reading. And the um, topic or the aspect of ourselves that we're going to focus on transforming would be the fear of rejection. That space within us that sometimes doesn't allow us to move forward because of how we fear others might perceive us or, um, you know, just trying to be our, our authentic self and fearing that we, you know, it may not be enough or that others may not um, receive us well. We're going to work on that now. Starting with the first chakra, our chakra at the root, um, you know, the, the words that come through here are, I am safe. Okay. That's our root chakra, our stability, our foundation. And we got insecurity <laughs> for that root chakra. It's really where a lot of the beginning of cleaning up our work goes is in that foundation. This is, you know, the energy that's within us sometimes is at odds with what's shown in, in our outer world or what we, what we project out. Sometimes we, because maybe because of fear of rejection or this insecurity, we don't um, transmit what's honest and what's true within us because we don't know how it's going to be received. So it's really um, the work here is to clean up that uncertainty and, you know, realize that when we feel that deep uncertainty about something, about speaking out or showing up, you know, in, in, a, in an authentic way, we're worried of how that might be perceived. And what we need to ask ourselves within is, are we going to listen to that fear or are we going to tap into some courage and find a way to um, overcome it, but really just not listening to the fear? It's not a whole bunch of external work that needs to be done. It's recognizing that I have within me fear and love, fear and courage. Either one, you know, applies and which do I want to focus on? Um for myself as I'm trying to stab, establish a, a more secure foundation. Um, and then remember a lot of our fears are just imagined, right? I mean, a lot of our fears come up as what if, what if, what if, what if, and that is not being in presence. That's not being in this moment. So they're literally figments of our imagination a lot, most of the time most of the time, unless it's a fear that's triggered by a past experience. And there's some, some validity there that if I say this, this could be the result, but even then it's smoothing over and working through those um, past experiences. Cause those aren't real either in this moment, right? It's a tricky one. I pulled a Zen card, one Zen card to go with each step of our chakra journey. And with the insecurity card, I pulled totality. And this is when we pose the question, do I want to focus on my fear or on, um, you know, the courage that's there that could help me overcome it? Which do I want to focus on now? That's a choice. But once you make that decision to focus on your courage to overcome this insecurity, be all in, be all in and um try to minimize as much as possible. Now we're humans, we're not perfect, but as much as possible, or at least have an awareness of when you rock between the two, right? Oh, I'm scared and I can do it, but I'm scared, right? We do that a lot as human beings. And this is kind of asking us to sort of, you know, you know, zone in on that courage, that place that knows our truth, that knows First of all, knows we're always safe. That's a tricky one, right? But that will help establish that first chakra as our foundation as we go to work through some of the other energies that are causing us to um, stay still because of this fear of rejection or fear of being exposed or just not being accepted. Okay, we move on to the second chakra, and this is our emotional center. This is how we connect to others. The I am phrase for that chakra is I am creative. So we started with I am safe. 
I am creative. And this is self-worth. I pulled self-worth for that second chakra. This is sort of your inner knowing and, and really getting in touch with who you are, what motivates you, right? What, what um, creative part of your soul is at the root of most of the things you say or do or, or that come out of you um, without second guessing, without, you know, not, no need to really prove your value. Your value is inherent and um, being able to express that and being able to create from there, from your truth is, well, it's very important, but it's also something that it doesn't always come naturally to all of us. And it's also, you know, we talk ourselves out of this um, full creative expression of ourselves sometimes because maybe we feel we're not deserving of the um, positive attention that comes from that. We're not deserving to have our voice heard. Um, but it is a space that we want to establish to allow ourselves to receive and be rewarded for exactly who we are, for our, our own creative expression. And this takes, you know, a, a deeper inner knowing. But once we've established I am safe, then we can move on to that um, inner knowing that that rests kind of right above that secure foundation of the first chakra and the zen card that i pulled with self-worth is the source and this is your inner being this is the core of your inner being of your inner knowing and this is where the there is no judgment there is no this is a spiritual energetic um <laughs> um outlook on it but there's no there's no judgment there just is right there's just this purity of who I am, where I come from, what I stand for, and my connection to the divine. And there's there's definitely there's a purity there that doesn't always need to translate into your outer world, right? This is just for you and you to kind of know and um, connect on that I am safe, I am creative, and my knowledge of my inner being and my connection to that is the second step in this foundation for me to continue to evolve. And then in the sh third chakra area, which is your solar plexus area, that's your, um, you know, your self-will. The phrase, the I am phrase there is I am powerful. And this is represented in this reading by joy. This is, you know, being able to, um, detach from from some details um and let your you know your empowerment kind of overrule some roadblocks or some uncertainties that show up in our lives and to just be um you know kind of like in in this um picture there's she's flowing you know with with earth elements with the daisies but there's also these bursts of air it's almost like she's walking on air there's nothing to torment over here right in this in this space there's just joy and almost a healthy detachment from needing to prove ourselves needing to be accepted need you know those are less healthy attachments and what what we want to do is detach from that and the more you can become detached from those expectations, the more joy you'll experience because your inner being already knows your worth, right? This is a, it's a whole, um, it, they're all connected. It's all connected. So this lets you, even if momentarily have a fresh outlook, you know, this detachment and kind of, yeah, they want me to say this and be that and act like that, but that's not. That doesn't feel like who I really am. So how about if I just, um, you know, let that be, let their expectations be there without me having to react to it. That brings you more lightness and more air and more joy um, and more freedom to move about and um, express yourself from your the truest part of you. And then the Zen card I got with joy is celebration. Hello. <laughs> so there's that energy of... Um, the freedom, the freedom and the um, acknowledgement of that freedom that we've 
started to carve out an experience and create for ourselves from within, right? Remember these, especially with chakra readings, this is all pure energy. This is not, oh, I said that to that person and they responded. That's how it manifests. But the truth of it is the work and the realignment is within you. And so it's, these are energetic concepts, right? They don't, and, and the beautiful part of the energetic concepts like that is they're more um, generalized so that you can apply them wherever you move, wherever you show up in your life, right? As long as you have your foundation established, it's easier to encounter others and um, come upon expectations that others have of us without a, a hard, um, you know, pushback. It's just, the strength of my alignment is so much so that even others' expectations aren't really going to help it waver. It's not going to make it waver. So we're building on um, our own value. And remember, the whole overall theme of this is, is rejection. And so this is a way to establish that inner energy and the alignment within us to, per, to um, almost um, foolproof way to keep that rejection um, at bay, or at least the fear of it, right? There will be people that don't agree with you and don't align and that may reject your ideas or reject you for who you are. And that doesn't mean you're wrong or they're wrong. You're, if you're not aligned with someone, that's fine. That's a good signal to, you know, continue your own inner work, right? So there's a lot of layers to this, but hopefully <laughs> I'm conveying it properly. <laughs> We're moving on to the heart chakra now, and this is represented by the phrase, I am love. And we know that, you know, I've said before, when we feel stuck or when we feel rejected or when we feel um, uh, immovable, that we're not making progress and we're not able to, um, to, to see the whole picture because we're stuck in fear or stuck in worry or anguish, shift it to the love. The The heart is the start. Ooh, that's good. The heart is the start of your, of loosening and things up and, and being able to move. And it starts with self-love, self-compassion, um, which then gives you the foundation to be able to bestow your love on others and, and be about love um, most of your waking hours, most of your time. But this one, trickery on the heart, is um, calling attention to times where you're not honest with yourself or with others. And this is not living your truth, right? This doesn't mean you're deceitful and a liar. This may mean you have so many protective measures in place that it's the fear of rejection is um, real. And if I say this, they may not accept me. They may not understand me. So maybe I shouldn't be honest, right? Um, but the first step is being honest with yourself. Where in my energy do I hold back? Where in my energy does this fear of rejection stop me in my tracks and prevent me from really expressing out and living fully um, exactly who I am? Um, it's also asking us to speak from the heart, you know, being, being honest and being uh, sort of combative are a couple different things. You can come upon someone that has a concept or has an idea, and then you don't agree. And you could either be brutally honest and say, you're wrong, you're full of it, whatever. Or you can just say, oh, in my experience, this is how I see it. That's being honest without being combative. Does that make sense? So it's really coming from love with that honesty. And the Zen card I got with this was interesting. With the trickery card, I got Thunderbolt. So this is really um, identifying and being willing to let fall away those old protective measures, those old ways where I'm, I'm just a yes person. I'm going to agree with everything you say because then, you know, you'll accept me, right? But then are we being honest with who we really are? And so this guidance is asking us to let that facade or let that um, um, misaligned or unaligned part of us 
let it fall away because the align, you know, the inner alignment is, and especially as we're building with each of these chakras, that is what's, um, you know, creating our, our whole being and our ability to live in the face of rejection without this overwhelming fear that takes us down or in the, in the, you know, in the face of disconnection, sometimes as we're uh, establishing our soul and, and evolving our soul and becoming more of who we are, others around us may not recognize us and it might intimidate them and that might create distance in some of our relationships. Um, but it's also making room for you to move and operate as your authentic self. And soon enough, either those around you will reconnect or you start to create a new um you know, set of souls to connect with. So letting those old paradigms fall away as you emerge in your honesty and in your loving expression of your truth. Okay, and then we move to the throat chakra and I got, and that is represented by I am truth, speaking your truth, right? Being able to express it um, in, in as many moments as you can. And I got isolation. This is sort of holding back that truth, holding back your voice, waiting for the right time to say your, you know, waiting for the right time to express it. Um, you know, um, over preparing, never feeling ready because you, you haven't been able to align, um, you know, what you're going to express with your outside world, which I would, argue is the backwards way to do it right align with your inner world and let the outside world receive it as they do there and and as long as we're in this alignment of you know the self-worth and the joy and the love it's kind of hard to really um let any bit of rejection out there take you down when you have that foundation right um and we want to clarify the difference between isolation and solitude. There is a difference, right? Isolation is really just cutting yourself off to prevent the, you know, maybe incoming criticisms or to prevent someone really knowing exactly who we are because of the fear of rejection. Um, but the, the solitude is another concept. Solitude is important and inherent in our growth. We must, you know, collect ourselves and stay in touch with the source of who we are in order to keep developing our persona or our our experience here on this planet as humans. And then the isolation is really cutting ourselves off and biting our tongue and, you know, not knowing what to say in the correct, perfect words so we don't say anything at all, right? That's a, there's a severing of um, our connections when we're using our energy in this way. And the Zen card that I pulled with that is exhaustion this is hard to keep up. This holding back and editing ourselves and not speaking our truth when it comes through, you know, from, from our joy, from our space of love, there is um, an exhaustive quality to that. And soon enough, we, we hit up some kind of a wall, whether it's energetic or a real world wall, you know, relationships get severed or um, we don't speak our truth. So in, we, um, hold things internally and we have this um, sort of fight inner fight going on within us because we're not living from our um, authenticity and so that could create it could create physical problems within us if we hold that energy that you know um, opposing energy within us it could create physical problems so before we get to that point of exhaustion <laughs> we want to pay attention where we isolate versus seek solitude to realign and, and get ourselves uh, back on track. And then the sixth chakra, this is our third eye, and this is represented by I am knowing. And there's a lot, it's our intuition. It's our, um, you know, where we hold our faith, which is what card I pulled, <laughs> is faith. And this is, um, you know, uh, you know, our fears, in a way, our fears are um, a nice signal, right? Even if we have fear of rejection, that's a nice signal 
to be cautious about what move to make next. But when they become debilitating or, um, you know, keeping us stagnant and not evolving and not growing and not expressing ourselves truthfully, that's when, you know, we go down. <laughs> that's when it, that's when it really can affect us. Um, and this intuitive knowing that, yeah, I don't have to express everything out about who I am all at once, right? I've had a history of holding my tongue and not really showing up and, and not being um, transparent with others because of the fear of rejection. But once, you know, the next time I come upon that, I can shift that a little bit and I can say a little bit of my truth, right? I'm, I'm talking in terms of we can um, layer by layer work through this, this, this um, stagnated place that we may have created for ourselves. We can release it layer by layer. We're not going to transform overnight and we're never going to be 100% of always, you know, living from our truth. There's always concessions to make and and times to pause and not really um, be out there with it. But it's it's really just learning to tip the scales of holding back and not living our authenticity because of fear of rejection or because of other fears. And also learning to sort of massage some of that those stuck places and let them go and release them so that we start to emerge more as our true self. And the faith is just that promise or that knowing of the unknown, <laughs> knowing that even though there are a lot of unknowns, that we are, we are well, we are safe, right? I am knowing. And then, you know, with pain, you know, sometimes when we're in a painful situation, the, the word faith comes up, right? Have faith. It's all going to be okay. But the pain sometimes is, um, causing us to cling tighter, right? It's it's causing us to not really make any moves. Sometimes pain, fear, those kinds of energies. But that only makes it worse, right? Because we're we're holding ourselves in place and remaining stuck when what what we're naturally meant to do is to continue to evolve, continue to grow. So um you know tapping into your intuition and that space that just knows you know, I am safe, I am powerful, I am love. Tapping into that is important for us. Um, and that's when you kind of have an inner conversation with yourself. You know, you're you're fine as you are. Um, express yourself, take the risk of being rejected and that's okay. Have the faith that it will work out. Even if it doesn't feel good in every step of the way, always carry, hold that faith. And the Zen card I pulled with the faith is postponement. And that's it. That's that feeling of, I don't know if I should be out there with, you know, I don't know, these new ideas. I should, don't know if I should tell my boss these new ideas because they may be rejected, right? Well, then that just puts off your growth, your evolution, your opportunities, right? So holding, letting the faith be the stronger energy and recognizing that, um, you know, letting that slide and, and letting the rejection, the fear of rejection win over our established faith within our energy, letting the fear of rejection win, you know, holds us up. It keeps us from really moving toward those things that we want to establish and create. And then the crown uh, chakra, the, um, you know, connection to the divine is I am divine and that's our connection to spirit and the crown chakra energy I got is rejection that's what tripped off this whole thing um but remember there are some time this really is the whole journey right we started out with insecurity and in the first chakra and moved our way through to where we're building upon our energy so that we can face the risk of rejection with less um, debilitating fear with less um, isolation from from our lives and from others and this is the the point that neutral space right where we're connected to the divine that doesn't always have a lot to do with our earthly moving moving about um, but that is we've gotten to the point now 
after this other the work building up our other chakras where we no longer feel the need to prove our worth because we've built it up right from chakra one to six we've built that up and we're in um we're practicing it we're practicing it it's not something like i said that you're just gonna oh, okay go through these steps and now i'm transformed but with more and more practice and sometimes we might need to go back to another chakra to rebuild it and move on and build up but once we reach um even this momentarily this uh crown chakra energy we start to see oh okay if I stick with my inner being and my inner knowing, I don't have anything to prove. I already know <laughs> my value and my worth. And, and then also there are times when rejection or a no from anywhere in our experience, you know, rejection is spirit's protection, right? Sometimes the no's are a detour for us to not go down that path or not come up with this idea for our boss. Maybe, you know, it, maybe they say, no, it's it's no good, but maybe that idea that you had is for you to take on and create yourself that's away from that scenario or whatever. That's a very um, out there example, but it just came to me. <laughs> so, but what I mean is when we hear a no, it doesn't always mean the end, right? It's just a diversion. Spirit has a way of, um, if we're listening and if we're aligned with it, spirit has a way of protecting us and guiding us on whatever circuitous path we must take to get to our goal, right? We don't always do it in a, we almost never do it in a straight line to reach that goal. But this is just um, shifting your relationship with rejection after having established, you know, the foundation, uh, you know, um, moving through your insecurities and tapping into your self-worth and your joy and your love, then you get to a place where you're healthily detached from outcomes. And so when a rejection comes or when a no comes, you accept it. You say yes to it. Okay. And let me try this now. It's less um, heart stopping and, and um, it doesn't stop you in your tracks as much. The more you have that your inner being built up in that way. And then the final card, the Zen card that goes with the rejection card is slowing down. <laughs> this is one of my favorite cards in the Zen deck because it's this tortoise, you know, who he's, his goal is to get to that rainbow energy or the rainbow space. Um, but he's not racing. He's actually, the space he's occupying is very sparkly and bright and happy and he doesn't really feel any need to race toward that rainbow because the space he's in is bright and sparkly and satisfying as it is this moment, being more in presence in every moment. And I love to say, especially with this card, it reminds me, just keep your energetic feet directly under you, right? Don't try to race ahead. Don't try to stand and hold back when the energy is moving you forward right don't get ahead of the energy and don't um cling so much that the energy can't move but keep your feet right under you as you're taking every step toward that rainbow right it's just a slowing down and a more more of a fleshing out of your entire being all of your chakras and and um um you know gives you more opportunity for full alignment more often than not, right? Like we said, nothing's ever 100%, but more often than not, you have that opportunity with this slower pace, with this internal um, observation and internal realignment that provides you with this foundation that you want to bring out into your life as a human. So that's it. It's the energy work of clearing your chakra in the face of rejection. And that will do it for now. I hope you're all well. Sending love.